and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you somebody that, in full transparency, I used to work with. I got that opportunity to work with this amazing leader, this person that's always trying to absorb new knowledge, and that's why I believe she's an incredible leader. Guys, y'all give it up for Lynn Malden. Lynn, can, can you hear him clapping for you? Yes, I hear you clapping for me. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Lynn, thank you so much for joining me today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. I want to give you a chance to share with everybody a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Well, like you said, my name's Lynn Malden. Um, I work in the multifamily industry. I've been in the multifamily industry for a little over 20 years, not to tell my age or anything, but... <laughs> um, it's been a wonderful experience. I've learned a lot. Um, tell you a little bit about me. I mean, I, I love multifamily. I love learning and growing. Uh, I actually have a really big passion in my pastime outside of my professional life. I do martial arts. And so my whole family is heavily involved. Um, I have a house full of black belts and a house full of instructors, <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, that that is fantastic. And in fact, so so you bring up a great point because um, I, I've always seen you as a leader of just setting the example of always wanting to learn, always open to experience new, you know, opportunities, whatever whatever may be brought your way. You're always open to it. And so I've always admired that in you. And so I love to always connect with these types of leaders and peek behind the curtain and say, what inspires this leader? And you just brought up kind of a little sneak peek. What inspires you? You shared with me. The first one is martial arts. So share with me, share with us why martial arts inspires you. Well, it, it truly inspires me because it, it gives you the opportunity. Um, for me, it has given me some first in my life. Um, I started my martial arts pathway when I was 39 years old. So I didn't start it at a very young age. I started it later, kind of midway of my life. And <laughs> it gave me some first, to say the least. It sure used to give me a lot of first, <laughs> but it teaches you the core fundamentals of it, you know, to kind of breathe in the moment to not be as reactive, but proactive and to plan and and just to, you get to see others, whether they're kids or adults, you get to see them overcome challenges and mm. you get to be a part of that growth with them. And it just, it's one of those, I'm, I'm real big on family. Um, and so it, it's very family oriented, um, no matter if we're doing tournaments or what no matter what we do we're always learning something new and i absolutely love that but wow. it teaches you to really just take a moment step back and breathe um wow. and it gives you a little clarity and it's a great workout so <laughs> it keeps the body going. <laughs> yeah that is amazing and there's a couple of words that you you shared lynn that i really kind of resonated with me is with martial arts it teaches you to be proactive and plan so I imagine a lot of these lessons that you learn that you through experience while being in martial arts, you can take these lessons and apply them to your career, would you say? I, I absolutely agree 110% because there are so many times that the two intermix with one another. Mm. Um, I literally get the opportunity to see how there are actions in my martial arts world that correspond with my professional world and mm. i have seen my my own self grow and develop um more into being proactive rather than reactive in the moment and yeah. and a lot of that i do think comes from just learning how to balance within yourself how to mm. how to take a deep breath and and just step back for a moment and look and think things through before stepping forward you know so it 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 definitely, they definitely correspond with one another. Wow, that is fantastic. I, I, I truly imagine that mindset that you that you have with martial arts just translate, like you said, just translates over into your career <clears throat> because it does, like you said, it, it encourages you or reminds you to take that breath and not react to something that, you know, could push your button and you, you know, respond to emotionally because 
through your martial arts experience, you really know you you have to take that breath and then make your move. Well, and I think in in the industry that that I work within, um, we have seen it grow and develop and change so much over mm -hmm. the years. I was in this industry when 9-11 happened. I've, I knew it. I got to see every bit of that and what it felt like. And with COVID and there are so many different elements and aspects of our business that has changed so much that you really have to become adaptable in the moment. You have to be able to adapt to the change yeah. um, just like any company would. And that's something that corresponds really with martial arts. In fact, mm -hmm. I, I tell this quote often, um, the kind of founding father of my martial arts organization, he has two sayings that he lives and breathes by. And I uh -huh. use these quite often. And one <laughs> is today, not possible tomorrow possible. And then he always says that you need to say, yes, you can. So when you think about that, Mm -hmm. What's not possible today is possible tomorrow, right. um, as long as you believe that, yes, you can. So those are those are some words that they really resonate with me. I, I keep them really close at heart. Yeah. And I share them with my team quite often, too, you know, because we're always faced with adaptable moments where sure. we're, we're affected with change. That is amazing. I love, I love those, those quotes because you really can use those and inspire. So, I mean, again, there you are inspiring other people through your martial arts lessons, learns and quotes that you hear. Um, and you in turn share those with your team and you're just inspiring people all the way around you. Lynn, you also shared that you had a, a second um, thing that inspires you. And I love this one. This one is learning from others. So what does it mean to learn from others and how does that inspire you? I think I think no matter what kind of conversation you're having, whether it's mm -hmm. in a meeting, um, whether you encounter someone in the grocery store, I always look to find something I can learn from any conversation. Um, that may be a little part of my psychology background <laughs> that tells me to kind of read the room and read yeah. people. But I have found that even in moments where you feel like it's a challenging conversation or mm -hmm. it's not, you know, or it's a, a heavily weighted conversation, mm -hmm. there are moments that you can learn from other people. So yeah. I'm in a leadership pos position um, mm -hmm. and that is something that I always make sure that no matter what's going on, I'm always learning from my team. Um, wow. I'm learning from my mentors. I've got, I'm truly blessed and honored to have some amazing mentors in my life. Um, and, and I'm surrounded by them every day who are invested in my growth. And wow. that's something, no matter whether it's in my personal life or my professional life, I have that surrounding, but I even learn like in martial arts, I learn from the kids. <laughs> I mean, I just, I think that's, that's a passion of mine because you never know. It's not that you're going to mirror image, mm -hmm. someone, but you can take and learn and grow from what you, what your conversation is with someone else. And I, that's something that inspires me. It's something I, I truly enjoy doing um, mm -hmm. because I have found it helps me adapt in different moments. You never know when you're going to be faced with something and, in your life and you need to kind of fall back on what you learned. So, Oh my gosh, that is so good. And, and I have seen that from you, Lynn, firsthand where you are just, you're, you're constantly absorbing the room where you're listening, you have that awareness and you're very open to, okay, well, this is what I thought. Well, I hear this from you. Let's let me, let me pull a little bit out of that and, and, you know, mix it in with what I'm thinking to grow, to continue to grow. And I and I truly believe that is a gift that you have, Lynn, because you truly do have that awareness. You have that openness. Because a lot of us, when you know we may get into a leadership position, we start putting up walls thinking, I know enough or I know everything. But what makes you successful, Lynn, and what makes you so you know, visible as a, a an inspiring leader is because you're very open to say, hey, let me let me listen, let me absorb, let me figure out what I can learn from this experience from this person. And 
I love that you are so intentional to surround yourself with mentors, with people that you can learn from and you're so open to it and you're so intentional about it. That's that's you're creating such an incredible example because the people around you, your team sees that your team is seeing that, hey, my, you know, Lynn, my leader is always open to learning something new, is always open to questions, always opening to experiencing something new and is intentional about connecting with people that, that she can learn from. And so just by your actions, creating followable excellence, your team is watching you and learning from you and being inspired by you. And that's, that's impressive. It's, um, it's something that, it's something that I make a conscious effort to always mm -hmm. be a part of because I feel like in your life, if you ever get to a point where you feel like you're not learning, you're you, like, you know, everything, yeah. that's really a problem. You have to really <laughs> hit that stop button real quick and yeah. let me take a look inside myself and let me see what it is because mm -hmm. we, we constantly have to grow and we constantly mm -hmm. have to develop. And I think, I think just seeing other, I love to see others passion I love to see yeah. others succeed um in fact that's something that that I really strive off of is I love to see other people succeed whether it's in my industry you know like mm -hmm. if other communities get awards or anything like that or if any of my team members anyone around me um I love that I love to celebrate in the success of others <laughs> I just I think it's such a beautiful thing and to be to be able to see that growth and development, whether uh -huh. it's a personal or professional, is is truly amazing. Yeah. And it's something that I I really try to strive off of, you know, because that's something that we can always learn to do better. It doesn't mean we don't make mistakes. It means that we are able to make mistakes, learn from them, grow from them, and continue to move forward. Ooh. Lynn, you are speaking the truth. I love what you just said there. Said there. And, and and the last thing, the third thing that you shared with us, and you kind of kind of broached the subject a little bit, career development and learning paths. I mean, I, I love how you talk about just we always need to keep learning. And this next inspiration point about career development and learning paths kind of speaks to that. So tell us a little bit more about how that inspires you, that development and that learning. Well, and I, I think it goes hand in hand, you know, mm -hmm. with learning and learning from other people because with your career development, whether it is in your personal life or your professional life, um, in your personal life, you're like, if you're a parent, you're constantly always looking for other ways, you know, as a parent, we're always wondering, <laughs> oh my gosh, am I doing this right? right. Or is it wrong? And, <laughs> you know, it's kind of the same thing, whether it's professionally or it's personally, mm -hmm. um, I'm always looking, I love, I love to look into avenues of books that will help encourage and motivate me or help me kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in a market that is forever changing. It's changed and developed a lot over the last couple of years. So those are adaptable moments. You've got yeah. to develop your career. You've got to have different learning paths. You've got to stay on top of the market trends. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the same thing it, it corresponds in back with my martial arts world. It's realistically the same thing. We are constantly growing, developing, and you've got to like look at these different learning paths and you've got to figure out how to navigate through those. Ooh. Lynn, that, that was so good because I really think you, you touched on something that's very topical right now because the industry changes as the world changes and, and uh, there's so much value to change with it, to be adaptable and to be open to learn something new because you may think your career path is one way, but the industry changes. And if you don't change with it or adapt with it or learn to make that change, you may be left outside. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you really have to have an open mind um, and you've got to be able to adapt in the moment. And I mm -hmm. think once you once you open yourself up to being able to do that yeah you also save yourself a lot of stressful moments because <laughs> when you're close-minded to ideas and mm -hmm. and you can't embrace those ideas and and really not give them an opportunity you really hurt yourself Ooh. because 
you've got to be able to embrace the change that's going on around you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important. Um, and through embracing that change is also embracing the fact that others around you adapt at different rates to change, no matter yeah. whether it's personal or professional. And that's where we learn from other people because we have to really, really, really take a look inside um, and, and just see how everybody does that. They say on average, there's 21 days to change a bad habit or to change a habit, yeah. uh, a pathway, you know, but it really takes an investment piece. You have to be invested in that adaptable moment. Wow. Man, you're just dropping nuggets of gold <laughs> wisdom here today. I, I always enjoy chatting with you uh, just because you're, you are inspiring. Um, and I just love your heart for leadership. And we're, we're getting close to the end of the, our time. So I want to give you a chance to share any closing thought that you might want to share with us all. I think if I had a closing thought and I had to share with anybody, any kind of thought, it would be always allow yourself to be open to new challenges, um, to lay out a path of a, 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 a plan to how to navigate through that successfully, embrace change and growth. Um, never think you're at a, at a dead end where you can't learn anything further or you can't move forward further. Um, and, and just realize like everyone literally adapts different in the moment. They react differently. And mm -hmm. when you kind of open yourself up to that, it just, it brings in so many other opportunities for you as well. Oh my gosh, Lynn. So good. So good guys. Be open to, to the change, be adaptable, uh, be willing to learn have awareness. I mean, so many amazing things, guys. I, I want you to rewind this a little bit right here, right now. Rewind a little bit. Listen to Lynn's closing statement, because I truly believe there's value in that statement. And it's this it's really impactful if you really take to heart what Lynn shared with us all. So, Lynn, thank you again for, for joining us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. You Again, you have always been an inspiring leader for me because you set such a, a wonderful example uh, leading by just excellence. And I just want to thank you for being who you are. And thank you again for joining us and sharing with us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. So guys, make sure you uh, check out Lynn on LinkedIn. She's she's on there, um, has some great stuff. But if you ever get a chance to to connect with her in person, promise you, money back guarantee. It's, it's, it's She's absolutely amazing and inspiring. So thank you again, Lynn. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you on the next episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. See you guys.